Hi guys, you asked for it, so here is my recipe for banana trunk and we're making bakwan also known as chuchur um, very famous in Southeast Asia so let's get cooking okay guys so this is my first time cooking this so there was a lot of research that went into it I spoke to my mother-in-law my PAs a family how his mom gave some really awesome tips so what you first have to do is this is my first time cooking this okay by the way you got to take out the outer layer okay which is really fibrous so we don't want this and of course it's a little bit um, bruised as well so you just peel it and then with your thumb just kind of spread it out and what you want is this beautiful like inside which is like firm okay so I'm gonna actually cut it in half first you need a really sharp knife for this and then you just slice it down like so and look at that so cool and then I'm just going to slice it really thin and you can see the fibers right so you can individually just kind of take it out or you can slice it out first and then put it in some cold ice water traditionally you use a lot of this in curries in sambars in dals masala but today we're using this in a very malaysian um, sort of southeast asian delicacy and it's deep fried it's delicious so so this goes into ice cold water okay and then apparently what's going to happen is all of those fibers are going to float to the top and then you just kind of like take off the string that's enough right so as you can see, yeah, all that, just need to remove that. So that is the fiber that we don't want. So I'm going to, I'm going to test one out to see what it tastes like, guys. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Kind of tastes like sengkuang or lengkuas. I don't know what the name is. I'm going to write it here in English. But it's a very crunchy, fresh kind of, um, taste to it I'm going to cut it into lengthwise like matchsticks so it's not so big you know what I mean I think you can add this into a salad like anything crabu my god endless amounts of things that you can put into it like you can really treat it like a, a cucumber or like lengkuas or sengkuang and give it a bit of a wipe with this bowl we're going to use this bowl and then I'm going to add all of our ingredients in so here we have I'm going to add in a little bit more other vegetables so we have our banana stem here and then we're going to add in some spring onions and I like to just bash them with my knife Soften it up a little bit. So this is for the bottom part of the spaniels, and then just slice them. Like so. Okay. Same goes here. Just slide your knife, and then just cut them. So this is a fully vegetable-friendly snack. But you can always add in dried anchovies, dried prawns, literally whatever you like. So we're going to add in a little bit of cabbage here. We don't need so much, just a little bit goes a long way. Okay, and then some carrot as well. <laughs> carrot, maybe like half a carrot. Okay. But I want some to be like a little bit chunky so it wilts a little bit so it's all about different types of textures, right? Onion. Okay. 
yeah. So when you're mixing it up, you want to see that, okay, there's a little bit of cabbage, there's a little bit of um, uh, carrots, and of course your banana trunk. And then you just want to make sure that you break up the onion. Perfect. Okay, so now it's time to season. So in a pastel mota, some ginger and garlic. And the best way to get this nice and smooth is to add in your salt. So I'm going to add in a tablespoon of salt. And then we're just going to crush this. Pound it into a smooth paste. Just a little bit guys. Okay, that's done, right? So then we're going to scoop this up. And we're going to add it into our vegetable here. Turmeric powder, some chili powder, rice flour, as well as normal tepung gandum wheat flour. Then we're just going to mix, mix, mix all this. Make sure that it's really nice and coated. And what this does is actually helps like kind of make each and every vegetable really nice and um, crispy because it's kind of covered in that flour and all that beautiful aromatics. Since we're doing this a vegetarian style, I'm going to add in some mushroom powder as well. But if you're not doing a ve vegetarian version or a vegan version, you can always just use a little bit of uh, anchovy powder or um, dried prawn powder chicken powder, whatever tickles your fancy. One egg, Woo! into a bowl. Give this a little mix, mix, mix. I'm gonna add in a little bit of water to this. Pour this in and what I'm looking is for a consistency that is not super dry but not super wet either so you're looking for something that kind of sticks together like so but it's not like a pancake mixture or a waffle mixture okay time to deep fry some cooking oil not all the way up, like sort of halfway. Okay, how do you check if your oil is hot enough? Take a wooden chopstick or a wooden spoon, place it in, and if the bubbles are like rapid, then it's ready to go. You want to take a clean spoon actually, and usually for this, you would use a slightly larger spoon if you have one. I don't really have one, so I'm just going to use a tablespoon, and you dip it in the oil. Okay, and what that does, that does is when you want to lift up your filling and drop it in, it doesn't stick. So you want to fry these up for about, I would say about 3-4 to four minutes until they're nice and golden brown. Um, but not too long. So make sure that you have a bowl in standby with some kitchen towel so you can quickly kind of drain off any excess oil. So last batch, let's drain all the excess oil, put it in our bowl here, and literally this is done. You should eat this nice and hot with some Gila hot sauce, my very own spicy sauce, because it's the only way to eat it, it's the only way to enjoy it. And that's it guys. So let this oil cool down before you kind of store it. There you have it. My back one. Okay, let's try one. Oh. 
Oh my god. Oh, I can actually taste the banana trunk. It's quite sweet. It's got a very sweet, like crunchy flavor. There's another one here. Hot. Oh, hot. <laughs> oh. oh, there you have it, guys. This is my banana chunk bak one, also known as vegetable tempura, also known as chuchur sayo. Super delicious. Look at it, it's stunning. So easy to put together, and of course, you got to enjoy it with a little bit of hot sauce. Got my gila hot sauce here, and the only way to do it is to take a piece, dunk. If you like this video, like, comment below, subscribe, notification button. Until next time, this is Ili Slimeman. Oh, and you can find the recipe on my website at dishbyili.com. Bye! Adios! I'm gonna enjoy this. Oh, so good. You want some? <laughs>